Hello folks, welcome to the Spanky Guitar YouTube channel. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little uh, modification. Um, not necessarily a repair, I'm just going to be swapping out uh, these control knobs off of my... Um, this is a 2021 Gibson Les Paul Studio with a double flame, with a double A flame top. So I hope the camera can pick up the flames on this thing because in real life this thing is it has just an awesome awesome flame top. Now these things I already um I already switched the plastics out on this thing. It originally came with black plastics and um Luckily, I had I have an, uh, another uh, 2020 Gibson Les Paul tribute, and that one has um, it's a tobacco burst, and that one has the black plastics. So I already switched swapped the plastics out, uh, and the reason for that is I think both guitars now are um, now look better um, because this one with the white plastics it looks like um, it now looks like the uh, the new uh, Les Paul standards. I got the uh, the 50 standard, the cherry uh, heritage cherry um, Gibson Les Paul standard in uh, in the 50s, the 50 spec, and that one has a little bit of a fatter neck, and it has the burst buckler one and two. Now they have the uh, the other version, the 60s version, and that one comes in uh, a bourbon burst such as this one. The only difference is this one doesn't have the binding. It, it does have the exposed maple cap, which is very nice. It's like a, it almost, it's, it, it, it kind of seems like it's a binding, but it, it's not. It's just a maple cap. And um, so what I'm going to do, I bought some, some new knobs today. And I was going to put these, um, I, I already uploaded a different video explaining uh, why I bought these? Uh, um, these are just a replacement. I, I wanted uh, I wanted the gold speed knobs to put on my uh, my uh, Gibson gold top, the f the f the bigger uh, s speed knobs. But um, I ordered those two months ago, f and uh, they're still not here yet in Canada from Gibson. So I s so I was a bit impatient. So I canceled the order, and I said, just give me whatever you have in stock. They said they have these ones. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take them. Um, so now these ones are more in line with the uh, with the 2021 Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to accept accept those ones have the uh, the um, the metal reflector or the like the more shiny uh, reflector on top. And these ones are just gold. That's the only difference. Otherwise, um, so with all that said and done, I'm going to show you guys how to s s quickly, uh, how you can take the, uh, the control knobs off. This is what I did. These are just my keys for my truck. I'm just going to take the, uh, the actual keys off for now. And then, uh, kind of hold this part, like the middle part. Hold it away from the top so you don't um, scratch the, the top. But all you do is you put this underneath halfway. I don't know. I'll adjust this. So you just put it under here halfway like this. Oh yeah, this one this one has the push-pull. So you got to be careful if they have push-pull. So... Um, yeah, so you put it on. You can use a string also, but this is, I, fi I find this works better because it's wider and it distributes the uh, the pulling, lifting motions. So you get it halfway. Then you just pull up tight. You kind of push down on it, and that's it. Comes off very, very easy. No damage to it at all. Nothing's wrong with the um, 
and do the same to this one if you usually try and use your hands maybe that sometimes does work but this is the best way without damaging the top or the or the um, the pots the shaft the shafts for the potentiometers so make sure it's halfway I know I'm kind of blocking the view there but I just kind of hold down and it just comes off simple since these uh, since this is a brand new 2021 guitar and these are brand new knobs I don't feel I don't feel too guilty swapping the parts because if this were you know a 1970 uh, 70 Les Paul you would want to swap them with period correct period correct um, swaps or just leave the originals one if you really have to swap them buy ones that are have are in the same period but uh, try and leave it original as much as you can now there's a special tool for this as well but this is a uh, you don't really need that tool you could just use this thing or a string like I said oh I kind of hit the, the thing the top probably would have been a good, good idea to leave uh, this thing on top but I don't think it's scratched I'm just gonna wipe off uh, like the fingerprints before I put the new ones on yeah so this is gonna look exactly like a, the, the bigger brother the standard the only difference uh, between the studio and the standard is that this one has the push pull pots and uh, this is the potentiometers these four potentiometers the tone volume pots are uh, mounted on a PCB board and for those of you that don't know what that is um, you can check out my uh, other videos I did a full review of this of this uh, particular model and then the uh, the newer or the uh, yeah the standards those ones have um, hand wired uh, cavities hand wired electronics where they don't um, utilize that uh, the PCB board so that's one difference uh, another difference um, so I'm gonna be emulating the uh, the 60s Les Paul standard version so this the standard they have um, the 60s version has a little bit hotter pickups that one has the Gibson 61R and 61T those are very very good sounding pickups I love those because those ones are also in the uh, the new classics as well so I'm familiar with those and my Les Paul 50 style that one has uh, burst buckers 1 and 2 for the pickups so yeah as I was mentioning no there's the only difference is there's no binding on this on the studios and on the headstock there's no mother of pearl um, silks this one just has the silk screen Gibson the brown Gibson logo so hopefully these guys just put push uh, on make sure all all of these are around zero or shut them all off to zero then I'm gonna kind of line the zero up to so this one's volume I'm gonna line the zeros up to here all the zeros going this way and just push it down and that's it see gotta be very careful don't push too hard 
that one's volume this one's volume look for zero there's the zero That one went up perfect. I didn't have to push down or very good. Tone, where's the zero? Right there. There, see, it went on nice and easy. These ones aren't push, these ones aren't uh, push pulls, so you just leave it. See, good. And this one. Zero is around there. Just put it on slightly. Oh, there we go. I'm going to try and put this one back on because the it went on a little bit crooked, I believe. And there we go folks, that's it. And this one doesn't have the thumb bleeders. So that's all you gotta do to swap your um, control knobs if you have to. So thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment on the video if you have any questions. I'll be glad to, uh, happy to answer any questions or concerns you have about maybe uh, doesn't necessarily have to be about Les Pauls, could be about other guitars. So yeah, thanks again.